what really happened between Max Kellerman and Stephen A. Smith. In my opinion, this is still a very fascinating story. Way more interesting than the current back and forth between Stephen A. and T.O. And Marcellus Wiley, who's, been, uh, who's still friends with Max Kellerman, his old colleague, and he worked with Stephen A. Smith a few times also, took to his podcast and actually provided some very interesting information on why Stephen A. Smith is still feeling that way, that strongly about Max Kellerman. So I'm going to play what Marcellus Wiley had to say and we're going to come back and react. But before we do so, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Face your reality, which wasn't always a good reality. Let me take y'all behind the scenes, because I know the people who helped construct that show. I know Max. I know Stephen A. Stephen A wanted Max for very specific reasons. Now, I'm going to say these reasons, and everybody's going to have a reaction. He wanted Max first because he was white. He wanted Max second because he was intelligent. He wanted Max third because Max can speak on all things, including some things that even Stephen A. can't speak on if you really want to go there. Max's hip-hop knowledge is killing 99% of the people in this world, his boxing knowledge, etc. right? So he fills in the gaps, and also he's Max Kellerman, a white, intelligent dude. All right. Now, Stephen A. used to come on our radio show all the time when we are in L.A., so I know he was familiar with who Max was, but I don't think he paid enough attention because he got slapped in the face with who Max really is. And then y'all saw the awkwardness that ensued because Max all of a sudden couldn't be who Max really was. Let me take you through it. Stephen A.'s first take, the show wanted Max to speak for white America. That's that balance in that. You remember that model? It still exists, but it was really the model. Black, white, all right? We got, you know, highbrow, lowbrow, right? Uptown, downtown, streets, boardroom, you know, all those damn dynamics and contrasts that everybody was lazily just buying into. This Max speak for white America, but that would allow Stephen A., you know, brother, get to speak for black America. Now we got it. And then... Stephen A. felt like he was going to be the king, even though he was already on the best show, number one rated show, I should say, because I'm speaking for my people. Oh, how empowering. Not only am I number one, but I'm speaking for my people. All right, so y'all heard it. Um, I got to say, man, this makes a lot of sense to me. And Stephen A. Smith will actually be the one to confirm definitely if it's right or not. Here's why. Ever since Stephen A. Smith started his own podcast, he's been responding to literally everything, even stuff that makes no sense. For example, Skip Bayless went on his show first day, welcomed it, Richard Sherman said one thing about something that happened on first day 11 years ago. Stephen A. Smith took to his podcast to respond. We've seen Stephen A. Smith respond to people making fun of Shannon Sharp for calling him Skip. Nonsense. Stephen A. Smith still responded. So there's no way he hasn't seen these clips from Marcellus Wiley. I don't know when's the next show, the next podcast, but if Stephen A. Smith doesn't say anything, that will just prove you that he's like, oh yeah, maybe Marcellus Wiley knows something. He hit the mark. Let me just not put this, uh, give this more attention and hopefully it'll go away. Because when uh, everything that Marcellus said makes a lot of sense when you think about how stuff used to happen on the show. And... Stephen A. Smith, if you remember, at the start of the show, he was super excited to have Max Kinnaman. And what was actually very funny is that right off the gate, Max had an awful take. One of his top three worst takes, in my opinion. He had the Tom Brady fall off cliff or whatever theory, which obviously aged super bad with Tom Brady winning his Super Bowls after that. So Stephen A. Smith, right off the bat, he looked amazing compared to Max, who looked like a fool uh, at the beginning. And the dynamics was like, yeah, Stephen A. Smith is, is carrying the show. And day by day, Max Kellerman started to just show his intellect, starting to dominate debates, starting to be more fact-based than Stephen A. Smith. And Stephen A. Smith kind of felt more threatened by the episode, in my opinion. And the apex of that, just like Marcellus Wiley said, was like, yeah, at least I'm going to be up here and I'm going to have an opportunity to be the voice for my people. And I'll be re revered for that while staying on top. 
And this didn't happen either because the, the, the difference between Mike Skellerman and Skip Bayless is that Skip Bayless, when it came to issues, he's never been bad in my opinion, but he would always take a step back and be pretty respectful. He wouldn't say too much. He would be like, yo, Stephen A. Smith, this is your time to speak. Same with Shannon. Shannon Sharp would have these big monologues every time issues would come up at the beginning of the show and Skip would kind of take a step back and react. That's not Mike Skellerman because just like Marcellus what he said, Mike Skellerman studied history. Mike Skellerman grew up with these guys who are really affected by issues. Mike Skellerman has way more confident and he's actually an intellectual. So he's shown. He took all of the spike lights when it came to issues so much that T.O., he got up there and he said, man, I'm in the streets and it almost looked like Max is blacker than you. And then that was probably the breaking point for Stephen A. Smith, who was like, oh, hell no, I'm losing on every, every, every cylinder there. So what happened? After that, you can see that Stephen A. Smith was coming on the show being way more aggressive, way more condescending. By the day, while Max Kellerman, he would never, you know, let him punk him uh, when he came to facts, but he would never match that, ener- uh, match that energy. And then to Stephen A. Smith's point, the chemistry of the show got so bad by the end that first take just looked heavy. And then you would have the negative pushback on, oh, yeah, the show is not what it used to be compared to what we, we remembered of Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless, who was a great show, not for the basketball or the football takes, in my opinion, but more for the entertaining factors of it. For the fact that the chemistry of Skip and Stephen A. was so great that you would tune on to first take and have classic moments, super funny moments. You didn't have any of that with Max Kellerman. It was just a yelling fest, a disrespect fest, and then the show slowly fell off. One last point before I get out of here. If you remember Stephen A. Smith interviewer on the Joe Budden podcast, Joe asked one thing very specific at one point. He said, I've noticed that ever since you've got paid, you started popping way more shit up what you used to do. You didn't used to speak like this. And Stephen A. Smith answered, yes, that is right. I want them to see that it's me now. I'm the guy. I'm running this whole thing. And I didn't pay it no mind at first, but now it puts everything in perspective about what Marcellus had actually had to say. And it also shows something that's pretty sad for me about Stephen A. Is that I will always respect his ethic when it comes to work. All of the efforts that he probably had to put in to get here. Uh, he always reminds us, you know, about all of the internship, his comic, whatever. And also we've seen the guys on all type of shows. We've seen the guys on air like literally six hours a day uh, doing all type of podcasts, everything, wrote a book, etc to get here and dominate for 10 years. So I salute hard work, but when it comes to his ethics towards colleagues, towards other athletes and everything, the more shit he pop, the more Stephen A. Smith shows us who he is, the funnier in the light it looks. And at some point it's it's gonna catch up to him. At some point it will. Now he's on TV with Shannon Sharp. If he starts to act condescending, disrespectful to Shannon Sharp, I think this might be the end for Stephen A. Smith. So he needs to be careful. So anyways, um, I'm glad also that Max Kellerman, uh, the, uh, the reason why he's unemployed right now is that he's still under contract with First Take right now. So he's not, he's just not on air, but he's still getting paid at least some part of his salary. So that's cool. And that probably means that after next year, we'll see him again somewhere, probably on the other hand, that's nice. Uh, I would hope that he actually reunites with Marcellus Wiley, at least on the podcast platform. That would be great. But yeah, man, uh, I'm going to close the video right here. What I need you guys to do is, first of all, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And more importantly, get in that conversation and give me your thoughts about this whole thing. Do you think that Marcellus Wiley had a point? Do you think that I had some good points about Stephen A. Smith? And if you disagree, please tell us why in the comment section. I appreciate you guys for checking me out and I'll see you guys later. Peace.